Welcome, my friends, to Forging Colossus, number 20. Now I know what you guys are asking. What is Elfie having for breakfast? And that is homemade pasole from last night. Baby girl made this. It has a, what are these called? These are called homonyms. No, they're not called homonyms. I'm just kidding. That's for words. These are, uh, this is called hominy. They're like giant chunks of corn. It, I've, I've never really had hominy except for in pasole. So, so good, and you guys don't need to leave in the comments how lucky I am, because I already know how lucky I am to have a woman that cooks like this. As I was eating this post-workout bagel, or no wait, pre-workout bagel with cheese, and I've got a little bit of, uh, what is this? This is uh, balsamic vinaigrette on the side. Some of you guys might judge me. Some of you guys might think that's completely disgusting. I don't know. But anyhow, what I just found is a gold mine. This guy is called Angry Ram. I don't know if he has a pet ram, or what it is, I don't know if this is like a wild ram, but he has a ram that he records. And look at this, this ram, ram stuff. Like all the time, he's just ramming all the time. <laughs> he has his whole entire own channel. It's just a ram, ramming things. Okay, first of all, this week I have great news. Coming in at 197 pounds. I just weighed myself right before the gym, 197 pounds. I'm gonna bet after the steam room and everything, I'm probably gonna come in at like 196. One of the new rules I've been going by this like last like couple weeks, three weeks or so, is that you have to, I, I, I have to pee clear, like totally clear. I have to have three, two to three good size clear peas before I go to the gym. I, like literally, I've explained this theory to a couple of my friends already in real life, and it is unreal to them. They're like, I pee clear before the gym like I don't even understand why do you care about that and it's like oh man you need to be hydrated for the gym I can't emphasize how important hydration is to your workout it gets you such a sweet pump now another thing I've been trying to work on is my actual width from my chest to my back out this way as opposed to this way I feel like I've developed my lats plenty this way I've gotten plenty wide I can get plenty wide this way but I feel like when I turn sideways I look really thin still so I want to widen that I want to get a lot thicker that way so I've been trying to do a lot of wide grip pull exercises to kind of work on my rear delts as well as the rhomboids between my scapula. And it's been working out really well. Uh, at first, I was going way too heavy on these exercises. The exercise that I like the most is this wide grip row. It's a seated cable row, but it's with this weird wide grip handle. A lot of people don't do it, but I really like it. Now I try and go a little bit easier on rear delts on my shoulder days now because I'm probably gonna hit them a lot more on my back days now, the day after, and I don't really wanna destroy my rear delts, but I do want them to develop and I wanna get it a lot wider. Now I'm gonna go sit in the steam room in the jacuzzi like the old man that I am, and then I'm gonna probably check in with you guys next at dinner with baby girl. Let's go. Mmm, here is dinner. So this is cut up steak and brown rice and cut up potatoes. And I've got a little bit of barbecue sauce for the potatoes because I'm a dirty, dirty boy. And then baby girl made cookies last night. So I'm gonna be partaking in those. Can you tap on my face? I never know if it's focused. <laughs> I love you. Is it focused on me? Yes. I don't ever, it, it's it's like a big YouTuber problem. You never know like if it's focused on your face. It's, really it's focused, you're good. Okay, that's gonna be it for Fortune Classes number 20. I will see you guys next time.